Finally, in this lecture, we are going to add another very important feature to our real-time chat application. So what we want is, we want to add a logout functionality to allow users to log out from the app whenever they want to. And for that, what we are going to do is, let's go to our React application. Currently, I'm in the home component. So basically, we want to add the logout button in the header component. So in the header component here, we are displaying the app icon. Then we are displaying the username and we are displaying the user profile pic. What I will do is I'll cut this line from here and I'll put it before the user profile pic. Okay, so first we are going to display the user profile pic. Then we are going to display the username. And after that, we want to display a logout button. But before that, let me save the changes and let's see if everything is okay. Yeah, everything looks okay. Let's go back. So here we have logged username. Let me go to this logged username CSS class. So for that, let me open index.css and let's scroll up to the logged username. Okay, here we have the logged username. What I'll do is I'll add margin left to maybe 15 pixel. Let's save the changes. And what I will also do is on the user profile pic, I'm going to set cursor to pointer because here when we are clicking on this profile pic, it is taking us to the profile page, right? So something has gone wrong. It is not taking us to the profile page. What have been done here? So, okay, when the profile pic is present, at that time for the profile pic, we have not added this on click. We have only added it for the avatar. So, let me copy this and let's paste it here or maybe here so when user have a profile pic and when that profile pic is clicked then also we want to navigate the user to the profile page currently we were only checking if the user has the avatar so on that avatar only we were adding this on click let me save the changes here let's go to our application now and now when we click on this it should take us to the profile page all right, so this is okay. And here we have some margin. Now, after this name, I'm going to add a logout button. And before that, let's also fix one more issue. So currently, what will happen is if I send a message from here, let's say hi, we are getting this error, maximum call stack size exceeded. Now, we have this error because if I go to chat.js, there we have this send message function and the send message function is expecting a value for this image parameter now when we are calling this send message function from this send image function there we are passing the value for the image parameter but when the send button is clicked so here we have the send button when this button is clicked we are not passing the value for the image parameter and that's why we have that error so here i'm going to use the arrow function syntax and then when we are calling this send message function here for the image parameter, we are going to pass empty string. Let me save the changes. Let's go back to our application. And now if I send this high message, it should be sent. Now it is sent two times because as I have mentioned many times earlier, the event handler has been added twice. And that's why it is sending the message twice. Actually, it looks like it is sending the message twice, but the message is sent only once. In the database, it, there will be only one message. If I refresh the page, and when it will fetch all the messages from the database, there you will see only one message, not twice. Anyway, we will fix this issue in our next lecture. And with this issue, we are also going to fix other bugs. But for now, I'm going to keep it as it is. All right, so this issue is also fixed. Now let's go ahead and let's add a logout button in header component. So after we are displaying the full name of the user, there let's go ahead and let's add a button element and here i'm going to display a font awesome icon so let's go ahead and let's add a class name here and the class name is fa 
FA power of. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to our application and you will see a button has been added. All right, now we are going to design this button. So for that, on the button element, let's add a class, a CSS class, and let's call it logout button. Let me copy this CSS class name and let's also save this file. Let's go to index.css. Let's scroll to the bottom. And here I'm going to add that CSS class. And what do we want to do? First of all, I want to set the background color to transparent. I want to set the color to red. Okay, let me save the changes. Let's go back and it looks good. Let me remove border. So let's set border to none. Okay. And here we have our logout button. Let me set the font size also. Maybe to 18 pixel. And now it looks good. And I'll also set the cursor to pointer. Okay, let's save the changes. And now if I hover over this, you will see a pointer cursor. Now, when this logout button is clicked, we want to log the user out of this application. So for that, what we are going to do is, on this button element, we are going to listen to click event. Whenever this logout button is clicked, we want to execute some code. Let's say here, we want to call logout function. Let's go ahead and let's create this logout function. So let's scroll up and let me detect this function as well as this function and let's create another function. Let's call it logout and here I'm using arrow function syntax. And what do we want to do in order to log out the user? First of all, if you remember, whenever a user logs in, in the response, we are receiving a JSON web token, which we are saving in the local storage. And we are using that JSON web token for authorizing the user for the protected routes. So the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to remove that JSON web token from the local storage. So for that, let's say local storage dot remove item and we want to remove token. Okay, this is the name which we have provided for storing the local storage. And then let's use the navigate method and we want to navigate the user to the login page. Let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. Let's actually go to Mary Jane's account. And let me refresh everything here. So from John Smith, she has one message. And now let's click on this logout button. And what it will do, it will remove the token from the local storage and it will redirect the user to the login page, as you can see. And now since the local storage is removed, if I try to go to home page directly by typing its URL, it will again redirect us to the login page. As you can see, unless we log in, we will not be allowed to access the home page or even the profile page. If I try to access profile page also, that is also a protected route. So that also should not be accessible. As you can see, it is redirecting us to the login page. So it is working as expected. But if I log in the user then we should be able to access the home page now when the user is logged out what we also want to do is in our backend code we have an event in app.js basically we have a variable called online users which is storing all the online users now when a user logs off we want to remove that user from this online users array. So for that, let's go back to our React application. And from here, we are also going to raise an event. And to raise an event, first of all, we need the socket instance in this header component. So let's go to home component here. 
in the home component we have this header component right so there also we are going to pass a props let's call it as socket and to that we are going to assign this socket okay let's save the changes and then in the header component we are going to receive it as props so let's call it as socket now using this socket from within this logout function we are going to emit an event let's call it user logout and then with this event we also want to pass some data here we want to pass the logged in user id so that we have here this user so we are going to pass this user id as the event data now we are going to handle this event in our backend application so again here we are going to use socket dot on and we want to listen to okay what name we have provided here user logout let's call it user offline okay and let's copy this name let's also save this file and let's specify that event name here and with this event we are going to receive the user id so what do we want to do with that user id we want to remove that user id from the online users array here we have the online users array so we will simply say online users equals online users dot filter so filter all those users whose id does not match the id which we have received with the event data so user dot underscore id not equal to user id okay so this filter method is going to return us a new array and in that array that user id will not be available and that we are going to receive in this online user finally from here we are going to emit an event so for that let's say io dot emit and we want to emit an event let's call it maybe online users updated okay you can call this event anything and with this we are going to emit this online user array let's save the changes here and now we need to handle this event in our front end application so let's go to home component there we are already listening to online users in the same way let me copy this let's paste it here let's also listen to updated online users so let me copy that name so the event name is online users updated so we are going to listen to that event and whenever that event happens we are going to set online users array with the online users which we are receiving with the event data and this should be it so now let's go back to our application let me refresh the page as you can see mary jane is online here and for mary jane john smith should be online as you can see you can see the green border but now let's log out mary jane and now let's go to john smith account and there i can still see that mary jane is logged all right let me refresh the page once okay and for some reason i am logged out here let me log in john smith let's click on login and it says request failed with status code 500 all right so there is something wrong with our express application let's go to the terminal here and here you will see that we have an error and it says assignment to constant variable all right if we go to our express application this online user we have created it using const keyword and then we are trying to update its value 
So what we will do is we will not update its value. Let me remove it from here. What we want is from this online user, we want to remove that user ID which we are receiving in the event data. So instead of using filter method, let me use splice. And then to this splice method, we need to specify the index of the element which we want to remove. So for that, again, on this online user, I'll use index of and there, let's pass this user ID. So it will give us the index of that user ID in this online user array. And from there, I want to remove the one element. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's first go to edge and there let me first log in Mary Jane and let's specify the password. Let's log in. So Mary Jane is logged in. Let's try to log in John Smith also. So now John Smith is also logged in and you can see Mary Jane is logged here. She is online. And if I go to Mary Jane's account, let's refresh the page here. So John Smith is also online. Now, when I log out from here, and if we go to Chrome, there you will see that now Mary Jane is offline. So that green border is not showing around her. So this is how we can implement the logout functionality. And our logout functionality is working as expected. So this is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.